Hello everyone, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 904 that says fruit into baskets. So here uh, you are given one integer array of fruits where fruits of i represent the type of uh, the eight uh, fruit. Okay, so here they are given that it is the type of the uh, it is the tree that contains i type of fruit, uh, but more generally you can consider it as a fruit with uh, this type. And further uh, you have some constraints. Uh, so this, uh, there are three constraints. The first constraint says that you have two baskets and each basket must uh, hold single type of fruit. Okay, you can only store one type of fruit in one basket and you have two such baskets. So at a time you can get take two type of fruit. Correct. Now further, starting from uh, any tree of your choice, you must pick exactly one fruit from every tree uh, moving to the right. So this says that you can start from any tree. Uh, like any tree, like whether it may be at index 0 or index 1 or index 2, you can start from any tree. And uh, they have told that these are trees, not just type of fruit it represents, these are trees. So from each tree you can uh, pick one fruit only, exactly one fruit. So yeah, you can instead of uh, thinking of this as a tree, you can think at, as this as a row that contains one fruit of uh, this type, right? This is a type of that fruit and it, there is one fruit of this type. Now further, this is very important constraint that says once you reach a type of fruit that cannot fit in your basket, you must stop. Okay, so now to explain this, uh, so let's say you started from this index, index 0. So in your basket when you have this fruit of type 0, right? Now moving ahead, you, you got a fruit of type 1. So you uh, kept them, kept this fruit of type 1 into basket 2. Now you have uh, this third type of fruit. Uh, so this won't fit in basket 1 as well as basket 2. So at this at this point you will stop. Okay, so you started from this index, you store one fruit in basket one and another fruit in basket two. The third type won't fit in any of the basket, so you will stop. Okay, and in the end you need to return the maximum number of fruits you can pick. So yeah, it very it is very much important that from where you start to pick up the fruit, in order to return maximum number of fruits that you can pick, right? So uh, let's say if you started from here from this index then you would have only able to pick these two fruits, right? But if you started from this index, then you you have picked these three fruits, right? One, two and two, la last three fruits. So yeah, this is how this question says. So yeah, now further in this video, I will be explaining you the intuition as well as approach and would solve this whole question. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any doubts after watching this video, then do let me know in the comment section. So yeah, now let's begin with uh, the test cases. Okay, so here this uh, first test case is the so let's say you have the these three uh, these three uh, trees. The first uh, is a tree with a fruit uh, type one, another with a fruit type two, and the last one with also the same fruit type one. So yeah, in the first basket you kept this fruit of type one. In the second basket you kept this fruit of type two. Now this is also a type one basket. I mean, basket one contains this type of fruit. So you are, you kept that in the basket one. So total fruits in both the baskets are 3, so you return 3, right? Now for this test case 0, 1, 2, 2, uh, so let me explain you uh, here itself. So if there is something uh, like uh, 0, 1, 2, comma 2. So let's say uh, here you kept uh, 0 in the basket 1, then you then you type 1 uh, in the basket 2. Then can you keep, keep, keep 3? No. Then what you do? You stop. Your current answer is 2. One fruit here and one fruit here. Now one another thing, if you start from here, so if you start from here, you keep one uh, in the basket one, two in the basket two, and again these two in the basket two. So currently basket one contains one fruit, basket two contains two fruit. So our answer is three. So what you have seen that if you uh, start from this fruit, then you can store more, more fruits in your baskets, combining both the baskets rather than starting from here. So this is how you have to choose uh, a point to start to get the maximum answer. Similarly, for this case, if you have started from this index, then you could have only stored two fruits. But if you started from here, then you have stored four fruits, right? Okay, so let's say you have this type of fruits array. Fruits of i, these are the different possible, uh, these are the complete fruits array, right? Now, uh, as you know that you can store only two types of fruit in your basket. So what you can see here, in one basket, you can store all these fruits, right? Uh, because beyond this, there is another type of fruit. So at one time you can either store from this index to this index, correct? Now, or you can take towers from here to here because in this window, there are only two types of fruit that is type three and type one, correct? 
and in this window there is only two types of fruit type 3 and type 4 so what you can see here there are if you take uh, see this by taking different windows then uh, what you need to take care that each window should contain only two types of fruit yes uh, and that's that's the only thing so uh, and in the end what we will return we will return the window of maximum size so here this is the window of maximum size that is size 6 so 6 is our answer here uh, so i hope you guys understood the intuition the intuition is that that we will take only windows because uh, we we will uh, we want continuous uh, this continuous of uh, length that contains only two types of fruit continuous number of trees that contains two types of fruits i hope you got this so based on this intuition we will code right this is simple and straightforward so let's say uh, we will take two uh, variable type one type two sorry uh, only type uh, uh, let me take it as type and basket one and basket two so this yeah this current type is type one uh, so initially what uh, so let me take it as uh, one as a type one uh, fruit so i will store one here and zero so i have added this to a basket one then there are new type occur it's okay right i, I assign it to two as a type two and add it to the basket two so this count become one this is again type two so count increase to two this is type one then can now count here increase to two and here increase here it is two now this is another type okay so yeah I, so at this point what i need to assign i need to change my type right so uh, at, at that point i can uh, only store two types of fruit so let me assign this as a type 2 assign this as a type 2 so if i assign this as a type 2 then the uh, type 2 is stored in the basket 2 then the uh, count of basket 2 it would, would become 1 that will contain fruit with a type 3 means uh, fruit of i is equal to uh, 3 here okay this is this fruit is stored here in the basket 2 now in the basket one what you can uh, what you can store you can store the previous contiguous fruit the previous fruit is uh, of a type uh, this type type uh, means uh, type with a value one so let us assign uh, the uh, so type with a value one and how many fruits are there with uh, this type contiguous previously only one so here the count become one you can only store one fruit you can't store this fruit if you would have stored this fruit then from here to here there will be three different types of fruit okay so you only you can store this fruit i hope you are getting this now again this is this is what type 2 fruit t2 and here the count increase to 2 this is what type 1 fruit so here it count is 2 here is 2 this is what type 2 fruit so here the count is 2 here count increase to 3 this is type type 2 fruit count 2 here count 4 now this is some new type that is neither of type 1 and nor of type 2 so what we do we assign this as a type 2 right whatever whenever we get a new type we, we add to the basket 2 okay now the basket 2 contains one fruit of a type uh, 4 those value is 4 now now in the basket 1 what you can store we can store previously same fruits with the same type previous fruits with the same type so here there are only two fruits that are of same type right because before that beyond this two there is another fruit so if you consider this then th there will be three different types of fruit so you can't consider so so what you will consider you will consider from here up till here so in that case there are two types of fruit so you assign this three as a type one so currently type one is three type two is four and how many what is the count of three three oh, sorry the count of three is two there are two fruits with a count contiguous before this now this is of same type type two so increment this to make this as it is so these are the different possible values or uh, you can store in basket one and basket two now what you will do you will add add all this and you will take maximum so you can see here this will give the maximum answer what is this six and this is what as we have seen here six is our answer by taking this window and this is what we are doing yeah got get it so this is how we will approach this question based on this intuition that at a time a window as you can see here can contain two types of fruit so by using this sliding window approach we will get our answer so yeah this is simple not uh, something uh, complex going on here we are simply storing two types of fruits in our basket when we encounter a new type of fruit then we assign it to basket 2 according to our algorithm and we check for previous contiguous fruits uh, and we store them in a basket one right so yeah we are maintaining this type of window as i have shown you initially now let's go on to the coding part where we will code for this so here uh, we what we will do we will take a basket of size 2 right 
so for that let me uh, take one basket let me name it as b of size 2 and uh, fill it with 0 now after this we will take uh, uh, type 1 equal to minus 1 and type 2 equals to minus 2 sorry minus 1 so we initially we took two types and we initialized it to minus 1 and also one answer variable and initialize it to 0 okay now we will uh, run from 0 up till end of the fruits i plus plus and here what we will do we will check if uh, type uh, 1 equal uh, equal equals to minus 1 or our fruits of i equal equal to type 1 so if this is the case that then what we will do we will simply store type 1 equal to fruits of i means if this is the case or they are equal then this doesn't matter anymore and what we would do we will store in the basket 0 uh, so we, i will simply make basket 0 plus plus in the else condition what we will do the same thing but for the type 2 else if uh, type 2 equal equal to minus 1 and fruit of i or this thing what we will do we will simply do type 2 is equal to fruits of i and b of 1 plus plus because we are storing this fruit in another basket and now in the else condition what we will do we will first check for answer right answer is equal to maximum of answer comma b of 0 plus b of 1 correct now what else we need to do we need to uh, check that how many previous elements are there that are same and are contiguously same so for that let me take one index in previous equal to i minus 1 and now we will run a while loop while previous is greater than equal to 0 and and fruits of previous equal equal to fruits of i then what we will do we will simply do previous minus minus we are simply checking that how many when we encounter a new fruit uh, like this then we will check that how many previous fruits are there that are same and contiguous so this will check for contiguously same now what uh, as we discussed that what we will do that we will uh, store uh, we will what uh, we will make this type 1 to fruits of previous and type 2 to fruits of i type 2 equals to fruits of i and the previous so it would be i minus 1 now basket 1 what basket will be contained sorry basket 0 will contain basket 0 will contain this type 1 fruit so how many are there that would be i minus previous this many fruits would be there right i minus previous minus 1 and basket of uh, basket 1 will contain type 2 fruit and it would be 1 right this is the new type of fruit we encountered simple as it is right now in the end what we will do we will again check for this condition and we will simply return answer so yeah, now let me try to run this okay it's showing some error uh, uh, see what uh, one mistake here is we are checking with the fruits of i minus 1 see i minus 1 the previous fruit uh, how many previous contiguous same fruits are there so yeah this would be the case near i also think that i minus 1 minus 1 would come because in the last condition previous minus minus where this condition would fail then it would uh, be lesser than 1 so yeah we need to subtract minus 1 from this now let me try to submit this so yeah as you can see guys that our code got accepted uh, so i hope you guys understood the intuition the approach as well as coding part and if you have still any doubts then do let me know in the comment section i hope you guys understood that what we are doing here we are checking uh, we are checking with this previous type of fruit let's say it is of type 3 and how many contiguous sub such type of fruits are there so we can take this window right this 3344 4 window when we have encountered 4 this is this is the simple thing we are doing here and yeah guys now talking about the time and space complexity we here we are running the loop for n times uh, n is the size of this fruits so yeah the time complexity here is big o of n and since we are not storing anything this is just a fixed size of vector and variables so the space complexity is big o of 1 so yeah this is the best possible approach in terms of space complexity as you can see here the space is big o of 1 so yeah this is the this is was the time and space complexity for this question so yeah i hope you guys understood the approach as well as the solution to this so make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel also do check the community section where i am posting the job opportunities on daily basis wherever the openings are there so make sure you check that and subscribe to our channel thank you